my channel. Happy, happy new year. We made it to 2021. Um, and by you, as you can tell by the title of this video, we're gonna be talking about my 2020 goals and then also my 2021 goals. So like a goal review and how I did and how I'm um, kind of preparing for this new year. I really like writing my goals down. Um, I, even though like, you know, this, last, this past year was very, tumultuous, <laughs> but I do enjoy writing them down because it helps me um, just to make sure that I'm on track and then I'm meeting the goals. Because some the goals that I do write aren't really completely dependent on what's going on in the world. If there are, some goals are very like internal and just character building and just personal development. So because of that, I'm like, let me just continue doing what I do and write my goals down. So I have my goals from 2020 um, that I wrote in this journal and I used this journal completely and I started this new journal and funny enough I gave this journal to my husband when we were dating and he never used it because he said he didn't like it or something like that so when we were married he has like a couple pages so um, when we were married I was like I'm gonna take it back because I like this journal and I'm kind of like anti buying more journals since I have so many I just want to use the ones that I have so thank you guys for tuning in on my channel we talk business corporate America, finances, lifestyle, um, honestly everything under the sun. I'm still trying to figure out what exactly, but I am enjoying, you know, just going along with the ride. Cool? Cool. So let's get into the video and let's first discuss some of my 2020 goals. So I've highlighted some. Um, a lot of these are individual goals, but then also goals that I had alongside with Sam and I also I'm not gonna all just talk about the ones that we had together, um, but I am gonna talk about some key ones that I did highlight and kind of talk about how I feel like I did in that area. So first things first, goal one under, this is titled Marketplace. So one of my goals under Marketplace was number one, clear off at least $6,000 worth of debt. And that is something that we were able to achieve. We actually exceeded that number, um, but I'm not sure the exact number. I'll probably put it in the video based off of how much debt we were able to clear off in 2020. Again, we're still gonna go very hard in 2021. We did have to delay some of our debt clearing goals in 2020, but we still met the minimum of clearing off at least $6,000 worth of debt. Of debt. Um, number two, under marketplace for me would be work full time for one year at least. Um, I was very transient in figuring out the career, specifically in the field of dietetics where I wanted to be. Um, but then I finally found my job and I knew going into 2020 that I was hoping that they would hire me full time. And I was hired full time by my job in 2020 and I've been working with them consistently. Um, I started contracting with them around 2019 summer. So it has officially, it was officially a year after you know writing this goal that I did achieve working with my job full time. So that is definitely beneficial. That was one thing that I wanted to do. I think it, it builds your character working in corporate America a little bit. Um, so, and I enjoy working. Honestly, even with side hustles, all the side hustles that I have, I do enjoy like going to work on a consistent basis. So definitely something that I was able to achieve and I'm still working. I'm coming up on my one year anniversary officially because I was contracted first and now officially coming up on my one year anniversary with my job and I really do enjoy it. Now, my other goal that I wanna share under Marketplace would be for my business Alive and Well to generate at least $1,000. and that is a goal that we were able to achieve in 2020. Um, so one of the things that I offer, of course, I offer um, nutritional, nutritional counseling, but then also in the beginning of the year, I did release a planner. And there were so many ups and downs with the planner. I kind of didn't want to release a planner, but I did um, really in a way to get my um, business and my name out there. Um, but then after a while, I felt like the planner wasn't as practical. Um, so I took it down off of selling on Amazon as well as off my website, but I did have some purchases in the beginning of the year. So along with the planner, as well as nutritional counseling and I don't know if I offered anything else um, but we were able to generate a little bit above a thousand dollars for the business this in 2020 which was very very exciting when I was looking back at my goals I didn't know if that was one of them that I actually had to achieve so I had to check my Wix marketplace just to make sure like see where I was but a majority of the money did come from nutrition counseling like with patients with clients rather one-on-one -on -one. Right, goes to the health category 
Um, I wanted to take more walks and in 2020 we ended up getting a dog but we also were quarantined and we um, live close to like a very nice like walking area so we were walking very consistently during the year which was really good and then my other goal um, under the health goal was to work out every week of 2020 at least once to work out once every week in 2020 and thankfully I almost 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 achieved this goal there was one week in April that I did not work out at all. And I don't know why, but every other week of 2020, so after, so 51 weeks out of the year, I did work out. And the reason why I know is that I got a, um, a Apple Watch um, for Christmas last year, so December 25th, and I've been wearing it ever since. And as you can check on your fitness app, I was able, I actually couldn't go back and look. There was only one week, and I don't know what was going on that week, because even the week that I had COVID, I worked out. So really, it was only that one week where I wasn't working out, and it was very sporadic around that time. I think it was also just quarantine. That was close to when um, we were sent home, so probably because we were sent home. I didn't really have a routine, and when I don't have a routine, it's hard for me to start one unless I'm being very intentional about it. So yeah, that was that goal under health. Um, then I had some goals in regards to just general goals. I really wanted to read one book a month. I did not achieve that. I did read a lot last year, but I didn't read one book a month. Maybe total for the year. I may have read like three to four books. I've read very heavily on my Kindle um, because I don't reread books. So sometimes I'm like, what's the point of buying a hard copy? But then the book is just not the same when you don't have the hard copy. So I did recently purchase some books and um, we're, me and my husband are gonna be reading books together, um, starting Financial Peace University. So reading all of those books. Um, so really just trying to get more into reading generally. I'm talking about my future goals. But no, that's my goal for 2020 that I don't feel like I read a book every month. So I did not achieve that. Um, and then another very simple basic goal, as you saw in the beginning of the book, um, in the beginning of this um, video, was to make my bed every day. That was a goal that I was going strong on until March. Literally, I was making my bed every day. And even um, Sam would comment and he would say like, wow, you, you really stuck with this goal. And I was just like, it's just something that I wanna do. I love coming into a bed that's already made. It just makes like the night go so much smoother for me. I feel more comfortable. Like I just love having a made bed. So that was my main goal. One of my main goals to really make my bed every day. And I was going strong up until March. Um, so I'm really picking it up. Like, you know, even though we're stuck in the house and I don't really feel, always feel the need to make my bed. I'm trying to stick with actually making my bed on a consistent basis because it's important to me and it's something that I do enjoy and I like. Now, let's go into the goals for 2021. 2021, my new journal. Okay, so the first goal that I wrote out, um, I did this actually on December 31st. I kind of was thinking about my goals for a long time. And before writing them out, I want to like mull over them to make sure that they're realistic, practical, achievable, smart goals, you know, stuff like that. Um, so that's why sometimes it takes me a long time, but I wrote this down on t on the 31st. So the first goal um, that I have written down is really to be more reflective through writing, meditation, and quiet time. Um, I just want to be able to start my day intentionally and just to walk in peace. Like I'm always exuding and not always exuding. My goal is to always exude peace and to just be a very peaceful person. And I feel like I'm able to hone in on that if I'm able to quiet down my spirit and really just listen and chill and relax and really start my day like that. So one thing I did was I bought a devotional, Jesus Calling, Enjoying Peace in His Presence. And I actually just went to Target and I was just like, I just need something that's gonna make, me, make it like a daily goal. And it has daily, like January 1st, 2nd, 3rd. I'm never really consistent with things like this, I will be honest with you. However, I am putting an effort in this year to see if it's something that I can stick with. Um, they're really short excerpts, so it's not too bad. Um, and I just really want to be more intentional, intentional about cultivating that overall peace in my life and just like the peace that I give onto others as well. And then second one, second goal for the year is less screen time, 
more hobbies, activities around the city, building new friendships, and also reading more books. So carrying on that goal from last time, I really do want to read more books um, in general. I just don't want to always be dependent on my phone. Like if I have to do something or I have to wait in the waiting room, I don't want to always have to depend on scrolling. I want to just have my mind occupied and freeing my mind in order to really achieve all that it's meant to achieve. And I feel like in order to do that, I really just need to just quiet down and less screen time and more focusing inwardly. So that's my goal. So to kind of just build more hobbies and things like that. Um, so another goal I wrote this down, I wasn't gonna share this one because I didn't start, but I will share it because I feel like it's applicable. Um, I really do want to grow in the knowledge of who I am and to generally just become a better person. I feel like the more I know myself, the better I'm able to serve those around me and to be a better friend, to be a better wife. Um, just overall, I think I just want to be more intentional about the things that I say, the words that come out of my mouth, the things that I produce, the things that I like, what I comment on. So I want to know and pay attention to myself. And by paying attention to myself, knowing myself better, and by knowing myself better, being able to just serve myself better, serve my purpose, and you know, to really just cut—I don't know—commit fully, you know, to what my purpose and calling is. So that's really another goal. And now, the next goal is to pay off at least seven thousand dollars in debt, and that is at least, you know, we have higher. We want to, of course, go higher than that, but that's the bare minimum of wanting to at least, you know, hit that, hit that goal, and then. Next one in regards to finances would be to buy a car. I have had the same car since my sophomore year in college. So that is what, four, five, six, like six to seven years. And it's like really knocking on death's door at this point. And if we were to go back to work and I would have to drive my car consistently, I genuinely feel like my car would not hold up to that. So because of that, I want to be prepared in order to buy a car um, rather than to have to rush to buy it. And I'm a very, I plan, I'm like, you can ask my husband, I have been planning to purchase this car for maybe like a year or two years, but I don't want to jump into the decision. I really don't want a car note, so I will hopefully be able to take you guys on that journey. So I don't want to have to have a car note. I didn't have a car note with my first car because that was purchased by my parents. So I want to kind of continue on with that and just not have that burden of having to pay something monthly. Um, so I'm saving up, um, but we have other things that we're saving up for. So we'll see how it goes. I have like a month in mind where I do want to buy a car, but my car, one of my goals this year definitely is to buy a car. Okay, and another goal would be to generate $5,000 in revenue from my business, um, Alive and Well. I do have some like ways that I'm trying to uh, offer more services and for my for my services to be um, I guess reached by more people so because of that by increasing my reach I'm hoping to in order to generate more income um, and just get like things in order I need to get a business bank account um, and just get all of that in order so that way all of it's cleared and, and we have a system going on. Um, I'm still going to be working full time but really doing my business as a side hustle and my goal for my business really is to side hustle until the point where you know it's necessary for me to you know go full time into my business but again I still really enjoy working so I really don't want it to be premature. I'm really just kind of easing into everything at this point in time and then I also do plan weddings but I really only plan weddings by request like my friend or somebody knew that I planned somebody else's wedding so things like that so I am planning two weddings this year and that also has generated income but it's like another it's not really a lot of well income it's just another side um, income that that I'm still trying to or that I will be getting or earning this year rather so my other last three goals would be number one to be more act or no to be more active be active once weekly for 2021 so you know i missed that one weekend in 2020 so i'm trying to get like a complete week or a complete year this time around um i've been working out consistently since january 1st uh, we have a challenge going on with a group of friends and we're all working out it's really fun i've done a challenge before and it does motivate me because i'm like i'm not 
I'm very competitive. So if I'm com because I'm, com I'm competitive, it makes me want to do more and to like really push hard. So that's what we're doing for January, but just generally wanting to be more active throughout the year. And as you guys know, based off of my last video, I don't have specific number goals. Like I want to lose this amount of weight. I want to do this. I want to do that. I just want to be active, you know, because that's the lifestyle that I want to constantly cultivate as well for myself. And then next, I would want to be more thankful overall. I feel like because I last year was a very hard year, I wasn't as you know thankful for just general life, um, like the things that were going on, like they were pleasant. Um, so I just want to be able to pay more attention um, to the positive things that happen to me. So in order to in order to be more thankful, I feel like a lot of the times I'm not paying attention. So because I'm not paying attention to like the little things that are, that are beneficial or that are positive, I'm not as thankful as I can be. So that is definitely something that I want to hone in on this year in order to just generally be a more thankful, peaceful, you know, carefree type of person. Like that is my vibe. That is what I want to continue to um, perpetuate. And then lastly, I do want, this is a random goal. This kind of goes into finances, but I want to accumulate cash back on my credit card. Like I want to accumulate my cash back to the point where for Christmas, I'm using my cash back for Christmas. And I wasn't really into credit cards for a point in time because based on my last video, I had a lot of credit card debt. So I really was just using my credit cards to survive. So now I want to be able to use my credit cards and use them to my benefit. I have one credit card that I get rewards from. My other credit card I don't get rewards from. I actually have two credit cards that I get rewards from. But one credit card, the reward system is real janky. So I really want to focus on, you know, growing that cash back rewards so that way when Christmas time comes, I'm buying all of my gifts with my cashback rewards so those are my goals those are my goals for 2021 um they're pretty chill i do have some other goals that are just for me and sam as well but i hope that was helpful for you i hope you wrote your goals down if you're like me even though the year was what well, was trash i know some people are like no goals just vibes but me I like to write things out because I'd like to on the, to build. I like them to build on each other and I like to look back and see where I was before. So I hope this encouraged you. Um, if you have any questions, let me know down below. Please let me know your goals, how I can help you. Um, and let's just con continue to build that community, build those, build those friendships, build those hobbies, you know, that really speak to who you are. So yeah, happy new year.